Today we're going to work on replacing my rear shocks and rear suspension springs, alright? Because I got a mom butt. I got a mom butt on this 400. Take a look. Yep, it's a mom butt. Alright, the springs compress and when they get old, this is about 24 years old. So, it's time to swap them. 170 bucks, this is the job. Plus labor, obviously. All right? Get to it. Good luck. You mask it, it's a moving mask. Do it myself. There it is. So, what we're gonna do. Right, initially, I was having issues. Um, Walmart jack stands, they're great, they're two tons, but they're short, super short, so I had to use a 2x4 to lift them up on the chassis. I was afraid they were they were buckling as, as soon as I lowered it, so I took, my good thing my dad had two alligator jacks, and I used a large one to lift the U-Haul, U-Haul point there, again with two blocks because it's still short, probably because this truck's tall. So I'm lifting the entire body with that U-Haul jack now and I lowered the small alligator jack so my pumpkin is dropped. So now, your pumpkin is dropped, you have a lot more flex. So now, I have that flex, I'm gonna try to jack one side, hopefully one side opens up. The 
than that. Got them top rubber bees. I really hope there's no spiders in there. Because if there were. Killed them. Uh, some of them are already dead, but like, I'm still afraid, like. Can I bite you? Yeah. Then, 17 with a breaker. He's just stopped. Can't stop, won't stop. On the screen. <laughs> it's a little shorter, you see that? But this, I can already tell it's heavier. You can tell it's thicker. Can't really tell. That was a stupid idea. <laughs> All right, since so I got the one side jacked, I need this side to go lower. See, it bounces. Mm -hmm. So it's not too much tension. I'm gonna put a block of that and on top of the piece and it's just high enough mm -hmm. to hit that. Again, make sure it's centered, okay? See this piece? There's a little lip right here. Okay, yeah. Make sure the lip is hit with this, okay? Turn anymore. This, I don't see it having any. Okay, so now that that's in, you can you have control of putting this this whole piece back. Good. It's actually a good uh, POV. Really, Toyota? You have to be different on each side? There you go. It's actually pretty ingenious. A little bit more. She's loose. A little bit more. And I hit the deck. Okay. 
That's what happens when it bites back. <laughs> Important is that boot right there, the mm -hmm. lip. Turn that we're in. Hey, not much tension, so I can use my hand. Look, it's so easy, you could do it by hand. Monomax Performance Gas Shocks. More expensive than a spring. Because of the paint. I don't know. I don't know why. But it comes in all this. Accessories. More shocks. Goes in like so. And another washer. Okay. Oh, it's not good. Wash. Find it? Yeah, found it. This piece goes here. This and I'm trying to figure out which fits here. And this piece. Ah. Oh. What? He's gonna push this. Stiff as hell. You didn't do anything to the front, right? other than the brakes last time. Yeah. And the axle. This is like a whole new truck. That's it. No more mom butt, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Left it, finally. $171, a little bit of elbow grease, a lot of headaches, a couple Tylenols. You good to go, all right? Catch you guys later on the next project, DIY.